love wishes, text your friends, call your mama, because guess what? We've got amazing giveaways for the whole hour. And the best part, Tam Fam at home, you watching right now, we did not forget about you. Stay with us because we're going to show you how you can get your hands on all of the amazing gifts that these people will be leaving with. So, our next guest always brings the gift of her voice and her incredible presence. She is a Grammy, Emmy, and Tony-nominated Hollywood icon. But, I love this part, but around her house, she's the Christmas queen. She puts up, she says, as many as three trees every year, gorgeous trees, bakes her own pies, all while making music. Tam Fam, the iconic, yes. the one and only. Please welcome to the show, Vanessa Williams! But I know that extra little shake, shake, that was that I got new music, shake, shake. <laughs> exactly. That's what that was. Exactly. So many phenomenal things happening. I got to talk about the music, but I need to bring out a special addition to this interview. Yes. Because one thing we know is that the genes of that family are incredible. A lot of people think it started with you and then went to your beautiful children. No, no, no. It started with... Vanessa's mom, who is apparently a member of the Tam fam. Mm -hmm. Please welcome to our show, <laughs> Miss Helen Williams! <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. 84 today. <laughs> so, Vanessa, first of all, Vanessa came out with her shimmy. What <laughs> you don't know <laughs> is that in the commercial break, we were recording you doing your thing. Have you seen your mother? Look at your mother. Dancing. <laughs> doing the commercial break of our show. Your mom, a music teacher, so music yes. is in the blood. Both just, my parents are music both teachers. Both of your parents? Yes. I didn't realize my both. Yeah, my dad was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at and my brother. I love you over. with the French horn That's over there. I, huh? yeah. I was so struck by a comment that you made when you were a kid. Our elves did some digging around. It was your 1981 yearbook from Horace Greeley High School mm -hmm. in Chappaqua, New York. Mm -hmm. The quote from you says, Follow your road and I'll see you on Broadway. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what you wrote. Yeah. And it was like you always knew what you wanted. I knew what I wanted, but also I grew up in Westchester County, yeah. so, it, you know, the city, yeah. all right, Westchester, but, you know, the city was a, a train right away, Broadway was there, I, I, my mom used to take me to see, I saw Stephanie Mills in The Wiz, oh Gregory God. Hines in UB, you know, Patti LaBelle, so I saw these legends, but I also knew that it was an audition away. Oh. That I, if I worked hard enough, I could take the train to the city, audition, yeah. and one day make it. So it wasn't like being a movie star, right. being a recording artist. I knew Broadway was a tangible goal, so that's why it didn't seem that far-fetched yeah. for me to Clearly hopefully... Clearly it wasn't far-fetched, because it <laughs> happened. It happened. Many times. Uh, Miss Helen, I know that in 2012, you did an interview with Forbes magazine. You said one of your proudest moments is when Vanessa made her Broadway debut in Kiss of the Spider Woman. Yes. That was 1994. Mm -hmm. Why, why did that moment make you so proud? Well, first of all, it was a uh, thank you for the many years and money that her, my husband and I spent for voice <laughs> lessons, dance classes, all the musical things we had to do. But we knew, like by middle school, there was something special about Vanessa's performance that as parents, we looked and said, we think she's okay. We think she can do it. <laughs> and we supported her. But to see her achieve her dream to be on Broadway and to do Kiss of the Spider Woman was like for us a fulfillment of our dream for her. Oh, God. Now I'm gonna start crying. So we know it's your birthday. Yes. 
and we wanted to give you a little something for your birthday Ooh. Ah, so that I you would never ever forget the moment that you referred to Thank you. the team because you are a member of the TAM fam. Not that Vanessa is not a member, <laughs> but I mean, you know. She tapes you every day. <laughs> I every do. Day. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. She From the very beginning. Oh, my God. Yes. Can I look in this? Yes, you can. It's Thank yours. You. Oh. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Thank you. You're very Thank welcome. You. What do you love most about the holidays? I love the decorations. I love uh, cooking for family. I love when everyone comes home because now that I'm a an empty nester when they all come home and I get all the schedules like pick me up at the red eye I'm coming in on Christmas oh Eve that's when I get excited and, and I get their favorite what do you want what can I buy from the market what do you want me to prepare and that that makes me excited so I'm excited you have new music I do you have new music so take me to when you decide all right it's time how many years has it been uh, my last album was 2009 so it's been a while it's been, it's a, been while. a while yeah 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 and this has been simmering inside this been simmering or did you need to get some other to... things done yeah, where were well, you Actually, I happened to do it during our, our actor strike. I had 118 days, and I've, I said, you know what? While I've got the time, I'm going to really commit. So uh, we uh, we did an album, and this this the first single was based on, and I'm sure you remember, remember when Diane Carroll had a book yeah. when she turned 70 called The Legs of the Last to Go? Yes. And that always kind of, especially this year when I was like 60s, I'm like, you know, I'm still here, I'm still standing, my legs are so strong. <laughs> so... The song is called Legs, so that'll be coming out. And guess what? We're giving the Tam Fam an exclusive sneak peek behind the scenes of the new music. Take a look. Hey, Tam Fam, it's Vanessa Williams. I am backstage on my new video featuring the choreography of Ricky Tripp and, of course, the cinematography of Mike Ruiz as director. Get ready. It's called Legs, and it's all good. Still here. Still standing, still kicking. In fact, I'm the best I've ever been. Uh, who sets a limit when we all fall apart? I'm about to give them hell again. Do you see my mouth on the ground here? The hat, the cake. Because I didn't look. I wanted to watch it with y'all, so that was my real reaction. <laughs> I'm about to give them hell again. That's right. Yes. Now, do you know how happy that made me? Oh, By the way, Vanessa is performing in this show. Mm -hmm. right? So I don't want you to think that was all. That wasn't all. That was a little sneak peek. But the team told me that you enjoy hot chocolate. Is that something that you enjoy? I love hot chocolate. Yeah. Although I see there is no marshmallows because I don't like the marshmallows. Yeah, I'm not a marshmallow person either, but well, I love hot hello, chocolate. Crew. But they gave it to me. Okay. So <laughs> I'll eat the marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> so this is apparently some serious hot chocolate, right? Okay. We're told that it might be the best hot chocolate you will ever sip in Ooh. your life. Yeah. It is from the multi-generational family-owned company. It's called Lake Champlain Chocolate Ooh. in Vermont. Okay. Craft premium hot chocolate with local organic ingredients. I know you're healthy. That's why you look so smoking hot. <laughs> uh, Guess what? You're all going home. <laughs> <laughs> 